Sanders from Jeff Sanders from Liquor and Yes, yes, yes. Oh, now, with Intro being one of those baby making groups, y'all done many, many hits, mm -hmm. such as uh, Ribbon in the Sky, mm -hmm. and Come Inside. Out of all those hits you guys have sung, which one was your favorite? Man. My favorite, honestly, is Don't Leave Me on my first album. Okay. And on my second album, I would say it feels like the first time. But it's, it's so many. Man. But Don't Leave Me always stuck. Don't leave me. Yeah, that always stuck with me. And why particularly that? Song? I don't know. It just talks about my life, I guess. You know, relationships. That's what we write about anyway. Life, right. love, and relationships. It talks about me. Don't leave me is my thing. I'm not afraid to love. I'm not afraid to talk about I got a girl. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. So, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, do you have anything special planned for? I just, my girl lives in Minneapolis. I just flew in from Minneapolis just now. I flew from New York on Wednesday because we was having a storm coming in on Thursday. So I put a flight out on Wednesday to Minneapolis and I surprised her and then we hung out for a couple of days. Then we did a nice elegant dinner on Friday night and then I gave her a nice gift from Tiffany's. And then we went out for some drinks and then we went to sleep. Then I got on a flight this morning. Uh, take note, gentlemen. Take notes. It's okay to love, man. Okay. So with you being in the QC tonight and in Charlotte, are you hyped about the show tonight? I'm always hyped. You know, I got a lot of family out here, man, and I'm not answering my phone because everybody wants free tickets, and unfortunately, I can't control that family. So y'all heard that. <laughs> so you know, I just think that you know, if people want to support, they should actually come out and buy. Exactly, buy I tickets, agree with that. You know? I agree that these promoters put up a lot of money, and they yes, got to be cool. So yes, they do. I support that. Yes, definitely support that. Now, with you being uh, an artist uh, in the industry, what is it about the industry that you love? And what is it about the industry that you're not so crazy about? The great thing about the industry is a lot of networking. You meet some wonderful people and you have some great connections that go on. What I don't like is those that think they made it and they haven't even put in the hard work. And, you know, people that don't know how to humble themselves, right. I don't like that, you know. And I try to work with new people, and when they come off so strong-headed, as if they made it, and when they don't even have not one record out, that becomes a challenge to me, because now I can't be creative with you. Because now, in your mind, you have a whole totally different agenda. So, that's what I don't like about the editor. But other than that, you know, it's all about networking. Exactly. You know, it's a job, just like you work at IBM or MCI, wherever you work at, Working in the music industry is the same thing. We just put in a lot more hours right. in the studio. Okay. Now, is there anything that you would like to share with new artists? Um, I know me being an artist myself, Neil. Mm -hmm. um, so, is there anything that you'd like to share with new artists coming up in the game in the industry? Again, humble yourselves, man, and um, you know, be prepared to you know take the criticism. Sometimes people are telling you something for a reason. You may have this vision. That is only for you, but it's not for everybody else. Right. So some people may come to and say, hey man, maybe you might want to tweak it here. Don't be afraid to try something new. You know, as an artist, you know, coming into the business, you have to be able to accept um, change. You know, nothing stays the same. I came in the business in 1982, mm -hmm. came out in 93. The business is totally different now. Yes. Totally different. It's a hustle game now. And it's all about networking and, and, and another thing. Making a record doesn't mean you have a, you have a hit. As an artist, you need to go in thinking every record should be a hit. Because if you make a record, all you're going to have is a record. You want to go in thinking, I need to make a hit. So take your time and create. You know, um, time doesn't, um, time doesn't, uh, how can I say it? Real artists don't go with the times. Um, how would I say? Real artists don't go with the times, and time doesn't wait for real artists. Oh, did I say that right? What I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is if you have real good music, if you took five years to come out with another album, people are still going to support it if it's great. Some people think that you got to go with the times, but honestly, you don't really have to. You just take your time and do your craft the way you need to do it. Some people put out one album every two years. Some people put out one album every five years. You know, it's not about dropping stuff every every year, every summer. It's all about putting out great music, a great body of work. Wow. A great body of work. Up, up and coming artists, <clears throat> take note. I'm taking, I'm studying, I'm taking a lot of notes. Yeah. So what is the most craziest thing a fan has ever done at one of your shows? Yeah, I don't know. Why are you on stage performing? I don't know. I was zoned out when I am on stage, so oh, I don't okay. know. Yeah, I, I never, I never seen anything crazy. Okay. Not really, no. Some people in my group have, but me, 
I stay away from the crazy. Staying away from the crazy is good. Okay. Thank you so much. I look forward to your performance. I am a big intro fan. I grew up on intro. So I, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you again. Where can everyone find you? In New York City. All right. <laughs> Um, Twitter is um, Intro for Life, I N T R O, the number four in life. Um, Instagram is R, the letter N, the letter B, underscore group, underscore intro. And our uh, Facebook page is simply intro. You have any uh, new music or anything coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually just released a, a song for the fans free. And it's called, um, I didn't sleep with her, but our album is almost finished. It took a while to do it, but I think we're going to have a really great body of it. Uh, I, I really think it's going to be really good. So, um, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to announce the date of the release this year. I mean, within the next month, actually. So, we, we were planning on shooting for March, but we're probably going for April or May. Thank you again for doing the Taurus Love Notes. I am so inspired. I look forward to your performance. Thank you, man. And you guys, make sure you look out for the up-and-coming stuff. That's right. Catch you on the next episode of Taurus Love Notes. Bye.